Hey Boosters, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Unite, and today is an extremely exciting day because we are going to be purchasing the brand new um, Pokemon, which is Gardevoir, and Gardevoir literally just came out um, 40 minutes ago at 2pm, so um, she actually costs 8,000 um, Aos coin, so we're gonna go ahead and purchase her right now, go over her skills and moveset, as well as what I think is the best build, and also we'll show some gameplay, so this might be a long episode, but let's purchase Gardevoir, and let's get it in 3, 2, 1, boom, Gardevoir, look at that, really nice, so I'm maining laners, so, let's see if she lives up to the hype. People said she was extremely powerful. Currently, my favorite is Cramorant here. Um, as you guys can probably see, um, my favorite Pokemon. I've played 48 battles with Cramorant, which is not bad at all. 72% win rate. Um, and let's see if um, Gardevoir can actually match that. So... Let's go ahead and read over her skills first and her stats. So, Gardevoir, her difficulty is Intermediate Ranged Attacker. Um, she has a skin already, which is really surprising because a lot of the other Pokemon don't actually have skins yet. This is quite neat. I actually like that skin a lot, but we're, we're not going to get any skins here, so... Um, the stats, 4.5 stars out of 5 in offense, which is insanely good. I tested her a little bit in the last episode, um, but we're gonna do a full showcase here. So, 1.5 stars endurance, as expected from a mage, I think. Ninetales is also. Yeah, a lot of the mages are low endurance, except Cramorant for some reason. I feel like Cramorant's actually frailer than when I play like Pikachu, but I'm not too sure about that. Um, mobility 1.5 stars, that's a little low, I think. Uh, it's the same as Ninetales, so that's not too bad. Um, lower than Cramorant as well, but 3 star scoring, which is quite good, so that's gonna be really good for laning. And 1.5 star support, so, um, let's go ahead and dive into the skills first, so... Um, she starts off with either Confusion or Teleport, so Confusion is a ranged attack that attacks straight in the designated direction, so it's just like a basic AoE laning bullet type of attack, and the other option is Teleport, um, has the user warp into the designated area, um, increasing the damage dealt by one basic attack after warping. So what I think that means is that after you use teleport, then it automatically puts your gauge meter to the third um, auto attack, which is um, most likely um, more powerful on on most of the Pokemon. So yeah, so after that you have an option, I think, you upgrade the second skill first, so you'll have an option of either Psy Shock or Future Sight. So I haven't tried Future Sight yet, but Psy Shock, I'm telling you guys, is insane. So it attacks a designated location three times. The move's cooldown is reduced each time one of these attacks hit. So if you really aim well with Psy Shock, then this is gonna be insanely busted. Um, the upgrade increases the damage this move deals each time one of the attack hits. So, um, if you guys haven't seen from the last episode, I'll demonstrate what this skill does again when I go into practice mode. It's completely insane and busted. Um, now Future Sight, I actually haven't um, tried this one yet, but it sets a delayed explosion. And when the explosion hits an opposing Pokemon, also removes this cooldown. So, seems like Garvor is one that has higher cooldowns, but if you land it, it might actually reduce quite significantly. So, um, the upgrade actually resets the move's cooldown, which is really nice when the explosion hits. Oh! Future Sight upgraded is gonna be insane late game because suppose you're in a Zapdos fight, you just spam Future Sights and then it's probably guaranteed to hit because most people are gonna be around Zapdos area. 
and then it you can just keep using the move so that might be destruction there we'll see which one's the best now after that at um le upon level eight oh this is actually gardevoir actually scales quite fast here um level six for the first upgrade and level eight so you can choose either psychic or moonblast again i i tested psychic not um moonblast yet but at psychic um basically it's like fire spin from charmander so it's like a laning indicator for the ability but when it hits a pokemon it kind of lands a area of effect that slowly chips away health so after hitting an opposing pokemon or traveling its maximum distance then um it deals damage over time as i said to opposing pokemon in the area of effect and decreases their movement speed for a short time so that's really good for kind of poking um, because you can do that and then have someone else sweep in and they can't really run away. So the upgrade reduces cooldown. Um, that's not too bad. Um, but Moonblast, I feel like it's going to be better. It has the user attack while moving back to create distance. So it's kind of like um, Cinderace's kind of blaze kick. Not blaze kick. It was... I don't know what, I don't know what it was, but it was the one that kind of latches onto opponents and kicks it back but this is going to be ranged and it's not a sure hit um when the moose moves blast hits it deals damage to opposing pokemon in a cone um i'm not sure what that means but let's continue and leaves the opposing pokemon closest to the user unable to act for a short time that's going to be a really good um support move i suppose because it stuns um, upgrade also grants user a shield. Yeah, that's more of the support set, I would say. Okay, so this is the Unite move. Fairy Singularity. Warp space in the designated area, drawing in opposing Pokemon. Shoves and deals damage to opposing Pokemon in the instant the warped space time disappears. So, um, I think this hits two times. So, first, you'll set... It, it's gonna be like an area effect, like a circle indicator, so um, when you put it down first, it will do constant like chip damage, like hit, 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 and then it will draw the Pokemon into the black hole, kind of, and then it will unleash a big blow, so that seems like a really good um, Unite move, but the thing is that, um, let's see if this move it works like Greninja, because Greninja's Unite move, it doesn't actually get the shield that most unite moves get um until the final blow so when it hits the first time you don't actually get the shield and you often die first so um this can be either good or bad depending on that so the passive is synchronized when an opponent inflicts decreased movement speed or damage over time condition on the pokemon the same is inflicted on that opponent this ability goes on cooldown after it's triggered. So this is like basically um, the same ability Gardevoir actually has in their main series games. So status conditions like slowed movement speeds or burn um, will be inflicted onto the person that it puts it on you as well. So um, basic attack becomes a boosted attack every third attack. That's how everything works in this game probably. Um, except Cramorant, it's the fourth attack, but it deals damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and decreases their special defense. Ooh, that's actually quite good. So if you're leaning Gardevoir with, um, like a more tanky kind of mage like Cramorant, it's gonna go like insanely busted, I feel. G Gardevoir Cramorant could be really, really good. Also, uh, Blastoise, I think, is gonna be a special attacker, so tank mage meta, Gardevoir Blastoise might be the best laning strategy. Um, but first of all, let's go into the practice area, and I will showcase Gardevoir here. Um, I'm really hyped for this Pokemon, it's really cool. Okay. 
seems super super cool here. Okay, so you start off as Ralts. I think you're not too strong as Ralts. Yeah, it's quite little, but I like that third boosted attack. It's like an area effect, which is really nice, in my opinion. We get teleport. Yeah, so it becomes a boosted attack on upon using teleport here. Gardevoir is gonna be really good at laning, I assume. So it's kind of more like a um, slower lane clear, so you won't be able to do the kind of like steals like Cramorant does with this um, Corefish and this opposing Apom. Um, yeah, but let's just level it up um, and see how it does. So let's head here, practice options. So it evolves at level 6 to Curlia, and then level 10 to Gardevoir. Okay, so let's start by showcasing Psyshock and Psychic here. Okay, so oh, Psyshock, it's basically a um, area of effect, circle indicator, and upon using it, it hits three times. Now the key thing here is that if you hit it, and move backwards you guys see that orange um if you guys saw that orange kind of indicator here um let me do it again without creeps here look there's an orange indicator right there and basically that is where you can aim the next psy shock to hit basically so you can actually move where the psy shock hits and that's really good because, like most area of effect um, kind of abilities, um, they actually are locked into one place, and that's not good because people can just warp out of that. But if you can follow it, um, suppose someone's boosting, dashing towards my left here, right? So I can just do this, and then eject button so that it hits like really far where they would warp next and then I can basically catch where they are gonna like land next so that's really really good of a move I say um, now this is the next one we'll test it on the substitute dolls cuz that's just easier here um, so the next one we're gonna test out is psychic here Okay, so basically it's a line indicator or lane indicator and it shoots a bullet and once it hits the Pokemon or the target, it actually creates like an AoE effect that moves continuously and does chip damage slowly. So seems like a pretty good one for like, um, if Gardevoir is like really, really ranged. So that's what I really like about Gardevoir. The damage output isn't going to be as strong as something like a Cramorant, but it's really good for sniping and poking. So this is going to be good for, suppose you're fighting um, a Zero Aura here, or someone that can dash like Lucario, and then they are low, but they dash away. Just do that, and then it will most likely hit them. They're at low health, and they'll die to that. So that's a really, really good move here. Same with Psyshock, I really love these moves from Gardevoir. Gardevoir seems like a really cool Pokemon. I always liked it in the main series games as well. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and test the Unite move here. Oh, looks like the Lucario bot is here. Perfect to test it. So it draws him in. Oh, he just used his... Oh, okay, so that might be... A little hard because he doesn't actually um, get drawn in but look at this damage Psyshock is really really good 
but obviously I think Gardevoir is going to have a higher skill cap because it's quite hard to land these Psy Shocks and to predict your opponent's movement is quite difficult as well. There. It's really long range though, so that's what I really like about it. Look, that does good constant chip damage. I would... I, I, I actually like it to use like Psy Shock near your body because suppose if they dash to the complete opposite of you like here and your aiming is here then you'll basically have no chance of hitting it but if you land it like here you can just eject button and then that will most likely hit it um there this is this this um psychic is really good for kind of stealing creeps as well Psy Shock as well I really like the moveset here. I'm definitely not disappointed at all. I'm actually really liking it. Okay, so let's see if our Unite move will charge up upon scoring this goal here. Okay, nice. So, we are gonna test it on this Dreadnought here. Oh, Lucario's here as well. Okay, so it creates a void and then boom, unleashes a huge... Um, damaging move. And look, Gardevoir is completely OP. I think, at least. Um, so, so we're gonna be testing the other two moves here. And then probably heading into a casual match because I'm not too good at it yet. But I definitely would be interested in meaning Gardevoir. Seems like really, really cool. Nice, we got this as well. Which is pretty neat. Um, yeah, I really like Gardevoir. Seems insane. So let's go to Practice Arena and test out the other two movesets here. I really want to be able to master Gardevoir, that would be really cool. Okay, so let's just not, um, let's just skip levels to level 15 because we're just trying to test it out here. Um, and then let's try Future Sight and Moonblast. Okay, so let's head to the Substitute Doll. If it's here, is it here? Yeah, okay. So, Future Sight, let's see how it works. Oh, that's really, really good range. I really like Gardevoir's range here. Okay, so let's try Future Sight. Let's see how delayed. That's actually not that delayed. That's like Cramorant's Whirlpool. So like you can just predict it ahead of people. That's actually that might be the the better move set there. And of course, once you get it upgraded to the plus version, it has no cooldown, guys. This is like hex spam all over again for Gengar. That's absolutely insane. I don't think it's gonna be broken though because Gardevoir doesn't have the mobility like Sludge Hex does, um, but still, it's gonna be really good if you're insanely good at predicting and um, aiming, then you're gonna destroy as Gardevoir. Okay, so now let's try Moonblast. It's a lane indicator, quite good range as well. Ooh, okay, so... Moonblast looks like more of a support move, as I said prior. So if you guys... Look, I'm gonna show you guys here. And move the camera a little bit more to this side. Okay, so... Moonblast, it, once it hits the target... Boom. Did you guys see that? So it's really good for getting... Um, kind of like... Hitting... Hitting the, what do we say, hitting team 
Pokemon. Like, if you're in a team battle, um, Moonblast will be really good because it actually has kind of a spread at the end that will deal massive amounts of damage. And also stun. That's the main thing. It's a support move, so it will stun the target. And that's quite a long stun. That's like one... It says two seconds stun. That's actually really good. So, okay. So I'm going to give you guys a basis on what I think is going to be the better Gardevoir moveset for now. Um... And which situations to use Gardevoir in. Now, keep in mind, I just started um, to try Gardevoir. So, this is not going to be, like, the best guide or anything. Um, once I get better at Gardevoir, I'll definitely let you guys know about um, the best skill moves, the, mo um, the best move sets, and what to do as Gardevoir in-game. So, um, so, what I see Gardevoir's moveset as is... Between Psy Shock and um, Future Sight, I'm gonna say right now that they're used differently. Now, what do I mean by that? Um, I mean that Gardevoir's um, Psy Shock will be better and more consistent for throughout early game all the way to late game and deal um, consistent amounts of damage. Um, but I'm gonna say that. Future Sight definitely is going to be more um, overpowered late game because um, after you hit here, so after you hit, um, wait, I'm not too sure what level it is. After you hit the level where you can upgrade Future Sight to Future Sight Plus, then that move's starting to get broken because if you have insanely good aim, you can just hit Future Sight upon Future Sight and kind of just deal insane loads of damage so it really depends i feel like professional gardevoir players will go to future site um but i recommend that beginners start with psy shock for sure and between psychic and moonblast i personally would go moonblast because it's stun so that gives you and your teammates more time to attack them and also, it deals similar amounts of damage, so Psychic doesn't do as much um, as you would like it to, and it's kind of a weaker move. And Moonblast is insanely good at supporting because it actually gives you a shield as well once upgraded. So, I think the go-to um, moveset for now is definitely gonna be Psy Shock Moonblast on Gardevoir. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and test... Um, and see our first impressions of Gardevoir in-game here. Um, this is expert rank, I think, around there. Okay, so... We're gonna go ahead and use eject button, got Gardevoir, which is really nice. Now, I don't, I don't recommend you guys invest in any, um, in any items just yet because the meta is still kind of forming we don't know which items will be best or worst oh no this is bad three top lanes I'm, I'm i'll go bot lane then i guess we're going bot lane oh or he's changing to zero aura i'll go top then oh no he's pikachu nine tails and Sin oh, this is a really bad team composition right here. I guess I'll go bottom lane. I sh I think I scale later than like Nine Tails and Pikachu do, so I think I'm gonna go bottom lane for more experience here. Um, I think I'm gonna go for Psy Shock this game, or I don't know. I I think let me try Future Sight. I think I'm gonna try Future Sight. get confusion here I guess we're going top nice we got that okay they got that we need to balance out the experience here
Now I can't really go steal the core fish here because Hey, this nine tails is really stealing my experience. Okay, so they got the core fish. Okay, I'm not gonna dive here. I'm not too used to Ralt yet. The movement speed's kind of low here. Oh, nice, nice. We can get this. Ghastly. Ah, so close. Let's just score here. We can't really dive. I mean, yes, we can. Let's go. This nine tails is insane. Oh, retreat. Run back. Lucario's here. I'm assuming their jungler's Lucario. In this match, at least. Can we get this? Oh, we didn't get it. Oh, we did. We did. We did. Yes. Ah, we missed that. Okay, let's get this core fish here. Nice, we're doing decently well here. Oh, no. Run away. Damage is really, really low late. I'm uh, early game. This is kind of like a later spike, I think. Okay, we got that. We really need nine tail support. I don't think you can solo lane with Gardevoir like you can with Cramorant here. Okay, nice. Oh, let's take these bees here. Nice, we get future sight here. Yeah, the delay is actually not too bad for the future sight. Nice, we hit him. Nice, yo. Yes, we got the Lucario. That's really good. Ah, run! Ah, we lost it. We kind of overextend it there, but yeah. The side shot's really good so far. Nicer level 7 here. Let's see how they're doing. Ooh, they're losing. Oh, I didn't get the Lucario. What? Nice, we got a kill. Yes, nice, good. Let's get Moonblast stun. Yes! Let's go, Gardevoir super good. Curly is... I think the power spikes at level 8, as I said before. So, that's when we start to really shine. Look, you need to predict those hits. on him and we predicted the dash let's go yeah I think future sight's definitely the one for now yo that stun did you guys see that stun we helped Pikachu get that stun yo Gardevoir is actually cracked I'm loving it so much I really, 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 really like this new set here. Nice, we evolved into Gardevoir here. We got our Unite move as well. Stun him. Nice, we got the kill. Let's dunk, no, oh, okay, we let them dunk, we let them dunk. Let's see, let's try and get that. Nice, it's pulling it in. Yo, the Unite move is insane. Especially if we do it with many people. Like, in the vicinity. 
He's gonna teleport here, yeah. Knew it. Oh, I'm gonna run. That was a good eject button right there. We avoided it. Stun. Oh, unite move. I'm dying. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ah. Yeah, they. It was a three on two. They dove the base. Four on two. Whoa. We can't really do anything there, but we've done pretty well so far. Is Gardevoir? Oh, they got Rotom. That's not good. Let's stun them. Uh, I should have saved my Unite move. Oh, nice. Pikachu's Unite moving. Oh, get him. Nice. Ah, we couldn't get that. Nice. At least we stalled out the Rotom quite a bit. Just attack it. Just attack the Rotom. Yeah, nice. Don't let it get to the base. Nice. Good job there. Let's try and take these. Oh, they took the combis. Let's let's rotate down to bottom lane. Oh, before they come get us. I'm gonna rotate bottom lane. Ah, come on. Oh, they got it. They scored. Nice, we got Lucario once. No, I'm not gonna unite move there. Yes, yo. That future site was on point. Did we get it? Uh, let's go get the Dreadnought, guys. Oh, is there a cooldown on this move? That's not great. This Lucario's gonna steal it. I'm not gonna hit it yet. I am not gonna start it for him. Guys, we need Dreadnought. Oh, did, did we already get it? Did we? Doesn't tell, but I'm assuming we did. Oh, we're still lower level than them. Let's see if we can unite move here. Uh, we didn't get anyone, I think. Stun. Artifor seems really strong. We need to get Zapdos. Oh, because Zapdos spawned, so that's why we didn't get it. I run! No! Guys, get Zapdos, please. Are we gonna get it? No, the Nine Tails, they're gonna steal it, aren't they? Come on, get the Zapdos. Someone, go get Zapdos, please. No, they got it. Oh, our Nine Tails is too slow. Yeah, we virtually lost the game. We need to go stop them before they can come close to the base. Oh, the Cinderace is gonna get ganked. Oh, if this Gengar gets it at the last second. Nice. We won? Yes, let's go. We won our first game as Gardevoir, guys. Um, that was pretty good. Um, so yeah, that was Gardevoir overall. That was really, really cool. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video a lot. We performed decently. We didn't get a score much, but 
Um, we got good kills, and we laned pretty well from the gameplay you guys saw. So, yeah. Hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. And we'll probably display more of Gardevoir. Maybe some Cramorant. And I'm still not too sure who I'm gonna main. It's either gonna be Gardevoir, Cramorant, or... Um, Greninja, I think. Those are the ones that I really like. Um, so yeah, we're gonna end the video off for now. Hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys in the next episode, where we will probably be doing maybe some more gameplay and tutorials of other different characters. So yeah, hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.